Come on then. You all in? Uh, this is my bedroom, as you can see, uh, slash studio. This is where I do all my hits. Um, if, actually, if you've you forgotten about that, I don't really want people at home to see that. Uh, well, um, why aren't we allowed to film your bed? Uh, just, well, it's just a temporary sheet. My mum were going to Dunnell Mill and she said, uh, can I get you anything? I said, I need a duvet. Uh, just get me a blue duvet. What would you get if I said that to you? No, we won't get that one. No, exactly. So, uh, if you could not film it, that'd be, uh, we, really, we can get on. So as I say, this is, uh, this is where I make the hits. Um, this is the studio area. Uh, I usually start writing the song over there and then move over to this area to finish the production on my um, computer system. Uh, this is uh, it's actually a subwoofer. Uh, I built that myself. It's huge. Yeah, it is big, um, but that's what dubstep's all about, isn't it? About big bass, big throbbing frequencies, you know, big um, woofers. Cause I'm a prisoner, prisoner. In this room it is impractical, I will be honest. I mean, a few years ago I was doing stuff that uh, other producers couldn't even comprehend. Uh, I mean, like, real underground shit. Um, as an example, most dubstep tracks are between, say, like, 130 BPM, 140 BPM. Uh, a few years ago I did a track that was 14 BPM. That's a good eight seconds between the kick and the snare. <laughs> used in a different track um, a sub bass note that was so low that it was actually inaudible to the human ear. So I'll, um, I'll play the full track, this is what the full track sounds like. That's everything together. Then if I'm to uh, solo the bass. Can you hear that? Can you, can you feel that? Well, no, you can't. You can't feel it or hear it. But if you were exposed to that frequency for an extended period of time, uh, you'd start to experience feelings of nausea, unease, and possibly heart palpitations. Uh, I used to actually play the tuba uh, when I was a young lad. We decided to enter the talent show one year. Me and my mate Jim. Um, he played cornet. We'd practiced so much along to this tape that my, the batteries in my cassette player started to go. Uh, so when the time came to play at the school concert, the tape player was playing nigh on our speed. Uh, but we, you know, we just went with it. We just jammed along to it, and uh, we really got into it. I've since realised that that day we'd uh, unwittingly performed the very first live dubstep gig in the UK, yeah, right there at uh, Shallowbrook Junior School. I actually invented my own uh, genre of music called Napalm Step. I used to put on a night in uh, Chesterfield uh, on a Monday night. You know, we'd pack out the miners' welfare. Uh, they eventually shut us down in favour of the over 40 Zumba classes. Well, we, would we be able to hear an example of this uh, Napalm Step? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Alright, this, uh, this is a track I wrote in 2008 called uh, Lactulose. <laughs> I think this is definitely dubstep time. Um, I mean, you've got people like Chase and Status, you've got Nero, you've got Scream, all uh, all bringing dubstep into the mainstream. Um, what I'm trying to do is just take it that one step further. What What do you mean by that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>